Giants Nation. Hold on to your excitement because the latest Giants news is intense. But here on the channel, you'll get behind the scenes access to our team. Before diving into another incredible video, I ask for your collaboration by simply subscribing to the channel to reach our goal of 500 subscribers. I want to see all of you pushing our channel and our team forward, so subscribe right now. Let's get to the news. The Miami Marlins are having a tough start to the season. So far, they haven't secured any victories, making them the only team in the league without a win. As a result, rumors suggest that players like infielder Luis Arias and pitcher Jesus Luzardo may be available for trade. So, could the San Francisco Giants be a viable destination for Arias? Zachary D. Reimer of Bleacher Report thinks so. He even proposed a hypothetical trade. For the Giants, infielder Luis Arias, for the Marlins, left-handed pitcher Carson Wisenhunt and first baseman Bryce Eldridge. In this scenario, Miami would have the chance to acquire two very interesting prospects. According to MLB Pipeline, Wisenhunt and Eldridge are among the top five prospects for San Francisco. Wisenhunt at number 3 and Eldridge at number 4. Eldridge is still in single A and is expected to take about two years to reach the major leagues in the best-case scenario. Wisenhunt, on the other hand, is much closer. Currently in AAA, it's expected that he will join the main team at some point in 2024. But why would Luis Arias be such an attractive target? Well, aside from his recent performance, his contract also catches the eye. According to Spotrac, he will earn $10.6 million in 2024, his third year of arbitration. Oh, and the lefty won't become a free agent until after the 2025 season. So any team interested in him would not only get a boost for this year, but also for the next. Southpaw bat in the Giants. Does Arias fit? At first glance, it might seem like there's no room for another infielder on the team, but the Giants have shown they're willing to make adjustments to bring in the right player. Remember, they didn't necessarily need to change third base in the last offseason, as J.D. Davis was expected to start. Still, they brought in the four-time Gold Glove winner Matt Chapman, which led to Davis's departure. The current starting second baseman is Tyro Estrada. However, his season's start hasn't been the best. In his first 28 plate appearances, he's batting just .148, with one home run, five RBIs, and two runs scored. It's a small sample size, but if Arias becomes available for trade, it'll be hard for the Giants to pass up. Remember that despite the slow start to the season, batting average of .188, he's a proven player. We're talking about a two-time batting champion, 2022 and 2023, two-time All-Star and two-time Silver Slugger Award winner. Arias could take hitting transformation to another level. The San Francisco Giants have already made significant changes to their lineup this winter. They brought in Chapman, outfielder Jung-Hoo Lee, and designated hitter Jorge Soler via free agency. Lamonte Wade Jr. is batting second in the lineup behind Lee. But if the Giants can get Arias, it would further transform the top of the team, led by manager Bob Melvin. With his incredible ability to put the ball in play, batting average of .335 between 2022 and 2023, he's currently batting leadoff for the Marlins. It's very likely that Arias would slot into one of the top two positions in the Giants lineup if the trade were to happen. This would certainly create more RBI opportunities for players like Solar, Chapman, and Michael Conforto. So what do you think? Would Luis Arias be a good acquisition for the San Francisco Giants? Leave your comments down below and let's discuss. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your Giants buddies, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all the news about our team. Until the next video, together, we're Giants!